Welcome back to the channel, Warhammer Man back in the studio and today we're taking a look at some of the new Age of Sigmar reveals for the Warhammer Fest. Uh, if you are new to the channel make sure to like and subscribe for Warhammer 40,000, Kill Team Necromunda, Age of Sigmar and War Cry content as well. So first off we see revealed that new Sylvaneth have been empowered by the Rite of Life. Alariel's Rite of Life had transformative effects on the mortal realms prompting the appearance of terrifying Cronspine incarnates, but the impact it has had on their own kin has been just so profound. Just as, sorry, profound. <laughs> Let's take a look at this video. dramatic Warhammer music in the background plays. So obviously we know there's a little bit of a uh, history between the Sylvanath and the Nurgle or Blight peeps. Uh, so here is the Spite Rider Lancers. So these look pretty cool. That was the musician. Here's the Banner Bearer. And then there's an alternative build for them as well. And then the Gossamid Archers. These are pretty awesome. I really like them. At first they kind of look like fairies or pixies, but then you realize it's actually a bug with wings on their back. The Lady of Vines. She is supposed to be some epic character from the lore. Do not know a ton about her. Uh, but pretty cool overall. Uh, now we can take a closer look at the actual models down here and uh, what else they have to say. But definitely some cool stuff for Sylvaneth. After her untimely death in the Roundgate Wars, the Lady of Vines is back, thanks to the God Queen of the Sylvanath. A deep rage for all things that threaten the Sylvanath smolders in her thorny heart. So she is like basically, it looks like a dryad character. She appears to be fairly large. Uh, obviously she has like a big silhouette because of her crazy like forearm Dr. Octopus vines. But if you look at the size of the base, you can see that's a big base. So even if she is a regular dryad, I mean, I that looks like it's probably, I don't even know, maybe a 40 or 50 millimeter, probably more than 40, maybe 50 millimeter base right there. So if that's a 50 millimeter base, she's decent sized. Uh, pretty cool looking model overall. Supposed to be a powerful sorcerer. It's got good aesthetics like the uh you know dude she's stepping on just kind of smashing this like plague bearer back into the ground she's got the pretty cool like dramatic staff her headpiece is pretty awesome i like how the like roots have kind of grown through it and everything the like detail of the skulls and everything she isn't alone either as with her comes the death on silking wings gossamid archers are lethal thir skirmishers afforded the power of flight by symbiotic zephyr spites their arrows loosed from the elegant bows play host to ravenous grubs that bore into their enemies. Yeah. So these guys are pretty awesome, I think. Uh, so they obviously have two different kind of looks to them. Or no, that was the other ones. So these are the kind of the revenants that currently exist can be built sort of two different ways as kind of like evil or kind of spirity more like these guys. So these don't have a build variable, but the other ones do, I believe. Uh, but this is awesome. I think it looks great. I mean, at first it looks like basically like a fairy or pixie or something. Obviously, it's huge for that size because we assume this is like a 32 millimeter base. And then obviously they're elevated with these big old wings. So very cool looking models. Uh, I think they look great. And then when you see the actual details, you can make out that this is actually like a big bug latched on to like the wood that kind of encompasses them and uh that's actually a bug flying them around so they don't actually have wings but they kind of do so it's pretty cool like symbiosis symbiotic you know agreement between the bugs and the tree folk uh very very cool i like the direction they've gone with like the wood elves sort of kind of blending them into the dryads almost uh, again really nice looking model here I think overall these look great. I like the extra elevation and they look like they're kind of flying around or fluttering or whatever. Uh, game term wise, probably pretty good to be able to get where you need to be to take some shots. 
get away from a threat, etc. Uh, pretty cool. I like them. I think they're great looking models. Really, really nice. And the combination, I mean, this one has just let loose like an arrow and it's kind of diving forward. And then this one's getting ready to reload here. Uh, really nice looking models. Super cool. Definitely very, very cool. The Rite of Life has also awoken long dormant dragon spites, mighty insect-like creatures that Sylvaneth tame and turn into indomitable steeds. These fearsome cavalry come in two flavors. Spite Rider Lancers are Alariel's elite shock cavalry, lightning fast. They dart into combat and strike their foes down before they can react. So here's the first variant, the Spite Rider Lancers. Yeah, very cool. Big old, like, uh, I mean, I don't even know what you would call these things. Obviously, spites, but big, gross-looking, like, locust bugs. So this guy has a spear, but it's a weird angle, so you can't really make it out. But that is, like, the spear tip, and then the shaft goes back. Super cool helmet, cool shield, and then, obviously, the bug is pretty awesome as well. And then here we see sort of, like, the uh, banner. Again, pretty cool looking. You can assume that there will be an option to make this one just regular with a spear as well. And then here we see a third one. I couldn't make out at first what this is, but it looks like it's the musical instrument. So sort of like a harp type thing uh, for the elves. Again, we see like the cool kind of crazy looking helmet and shield. Uh, very like nice looking models. I like them a lot. I like how these guys are the wood version of the elves and everything. And they've kind of blended in with like the insects and everything. And then you have like the sea elves basically have all the little like sea creatures they ride around on and then they've kind of like blended in with the sea there so i like how they've kind of taken the elves and made it more than just like oh these are the wood elves and these are the high elves and these are the dark elves they've taken them all in like complete different directions and uh, i really like it i like what they've done very very cool definitely like these guys and then here's the alternative the revenant seekers are a touch slower focusing on the vital task of harvesting the life energy of fallen Sylvanath to resurrect their allies. So from what it kind of explained, these will basically gather up some sort of points or credit towards resurrecting or like replenishing existing squads. So I'm not sure if it's going to be like once you save up enough, you can bring back a squad that's completely eliminated or if it just lets you heal a certain amount of monsters uh, or, uh, you know, models back to a unit. Uh, not really sure about that. They didn't go into, like, the extreme details on it. But they look pretty cool overall. Uh, so the bugs obviously painted red here. And then the guys on top still have the same shields. Or the riders, I should say. Still have the same shields, but they have the sickles instead. So this seems more like a small unit of, like... A couple guys or characters or whatever that go around and gather up these souls as where the other ones are like a powerful offensive like cavalry unit this is more of like a defensive kind of like healing one i do like the quickness of them obviously they don't have like the eagle riders like they used to have back in the day so these weird bug cicada riders are uh, pretty cool instead and then like the idea of like the bug wings you know kind of like the symbiosis going on with the archers pretty freaking cool too so i uh, really like this overall i think they've done well and then last but not least all of these fabulous floral fighters and carpace cavalry are arriving alongside the latest book for the ever queens forest dwelling sentinels battle tome sylvaneth which you can expect to see more of in the coming weeks uh, so here is the new battle tome sylvaneth and we know that's going to come in two different forms the limited and regular edition and uh, obviously we have quite a few releases for these as well and uh, you know a couple more days left of warhammer fest and some other things in other videos as well if you haven't checked those out uh, for warhammer 40k some other ones as well for age of sigmar and uh, obviously we're going to have a bunch of stuff coming tomorrow and saturday as well uh, for all the skirmish names and then horus heresy uh, so overall very cool uh, i think she's probably the least under most underwhelming or least exciting to me like she's pretty cool overall definitely a cool model and everything but these are really awesome i love these the paint job on them looks great too they're super super cool uh and then these guys are pretty awesome too i really like the bug cavalry at first i was kind of like i don't know shouldn't that be eagles but i really like the direction they've kind of taken them 
where even the regular elves are kind of turning into like dryads. They kind of have like the half and half thing going on. And then they're becoming basically like one with nature fully. So the bugs, as opposed to just like animals or creatures, are like their allies. So I really like it. I like the way they go with it. I think it's super cool. I feel like the faces are slightly different. These ones have like a little bigger, maybe like mandibles on the bottom. Or maybe it's just the paint job. You can't quite see them right here. That might be what it is. Okay, yeah. So the paint job really does just make them look completely different though. Um, I really like them. They both look cool, both paint jobs. So let me know what you think down below and check out the other videos and make sure you tune in for the upcoming content for the rest of Warhammer Fest. Hopefully everyone is enjoying their week and uh, so far what we've seen, let me know what you think is the most exciting. Even if it's not from today's video, uh, what are you the most excited for and hoping comes down the pipe as well. Always appreciate the interactions with the community. Uh, but that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up there. Call it. Uh, so if you do enjoy this type of Warhammer 40,000, Kill Team, Necromunda, Age of Sigmar, I would do a little bit of uh, pretty much everything D&D &D included, uh, all kinds of tabletop and wargaming content. Make sure to like and subscribe as it really does help grow the channel. And I personally appreciate it as well as it helps me to bring you all these cool videos on a regular basis, at least one per day. Uh, but that's it for today. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man and I'm out of here.